Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basir. Welcome to 7 video of 100 web project series. And in this video, we are going to create this accordion using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. This is a clone of Bootstrap accordion, except that right here we use some different color combination. Also notice the left menu side right here is an accordion too. Alright, so if for any reason you don't want to use Bootstrap and want to create your own accordion from scratch, then this video is for you. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. So I already have my code editor opened in here, and I'm going to start creating the HTML file. The HTML structure and the title is accordion. Alright, I'm going to use image here to create the structure of this accordion. Accordion item times four, inside of which gonna have a button with accordion header, and there is this strong tag, and its adjacent element is a font awesome tag. Angle down, and then right here we have this accordion body, which is the sibling of accordion header, and then we have some dummy content. Hit enter and save it. All right, so this is how it is all going to look. First, we created this accordion, which is going to be a wrapper of all the accordion item. Every accordion item has a header and a body. Inside the header is a strong tag and also a font awesome tag. And this font awesome tag, let me flip back right here, this one. This angle down, this is the font awesome tag right here. All right, then in accordion body, we place some dummy content. And everything after this accordion item is pretty similar and duplicated. All right, so I'm gonna run this in live server just to see how it is gonna look. All right, so it looks a little bit terrible because we didn't add any text for these buttons back into here and right there I'm gonna call this accordion number one. This one is accordion number two, followed by accordion number three and accordion number four. Okay, flip back here, refresh. This is how it is gonna look. So up until here, I'm gonna create a style.css file. Actually, I haven't yet created it, so I'm gonna create it real quick. Now in here, this accordion is going to have like a width of uh, 768 pixels, margin zero and auto. And also I want to have a overflow of heading and also add a border radius for it of like four pixels, okay? Uh, now, let me just stack them side by side so you can see what is going on. Now it looks better. For the accordion header, that's actually a button, so accordion-header. Then right here, it's gonna have a padding of like 0.75 rem and one rem. And also make sure to add a width of like 100 person, like so. Let's just save it and refresh that out. This is how it is all gonna look. Okay, this should be like 450 pixels. That was too much. Now it looks better, all right? So I already come up with these background color and border bottom. So I'm gonna just copy paste it right here just to save some time. Now you can see we don't, we don't observe this one right here in this accordion. So for that to do, just head into cdnjs.com, search for font awesome, and copy this link. It's all.main.css. Back into index.html, right up until here, create this link and add that content delivery network link right here. And that is going to help us to create this little angle down. Okay, so the color is white. And in order to push that angle down and also this accordion title, in the opposite direction at left and right like this we have to use display flicks right here displayed as flicks and then okay actually right here justify content that has space between like so and then if i refresh that back there we go you see this black border around it i'm gonna get rid of that by using this border none and also outline of none now this looks better refresh and this is how it is all gonna look all right, so there is nothing fancy with the accordion body. I'm gonna style real quick, accordion dash body. It's just gonna have a padding of like zero and one rim. Okay, and also make sure to add a background color for this too. It's gonna be F3, F3, F3. This is a kind of whitish color. 
Now also I don't like this font family, so I'm gonna use one that I like it. Font family, uh, I can type Sigu UI. There we go. Now this font family is looking a little bit nice. All right, so now in here, let's just collapse all of these accordion content and then add an active class for the button and also one for this accordion content too. So collapse that maximum height of zero. Now you see this overflow, one and after another. So for that to get rid of that, I'm gonna add this overflow of hidden and that's gonna do the job. Now let's refresh that out. This is how it is all gonna look. All right, so back into accordion header, make sure to add this cursor pointer too, like so. Now if I hover my mouse on there, then this cursor is looking really awesome and cool. We are making really good progress so far. Let's add an accordion body with a class of active to it too. So when we are activating this accordion body using JavaScript, we want to add this active class. What it does basically is that it's going to add this maximum height of maybe like 10 rim. Let me add it right here, 10 rim. And also it's gonna add a padding of like one rim overall for all of it, okay? And also make sure to add a transition for it too. Zero, actually all zero, 0 0.3 second is in and out. All right, now back into here at the accordion header, let's add an active class for this one too. Okay, so when it is active, then add this background color to that. Now back into here, I'm gonna create this script.js file and back into index.html all the way down up until here, right above the closing tag of body, I'm gonna create this script, colon, source, hit enter, and now script.js. Now they are linked. Back into here in script.js, I'm gonna grab all the buttons, that's equal to document.query selector all, and that is the accordion header. I call that a button for a reason because if I go back into index.html all the way up until here, you see that this accordion header right here is a button. So that's why I call that as a button. You can call that accordion button, ACC underscore button. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna call that accordion underscore buttons, like so. An accordion underscore button start for each, looping over every single one of those buttons and hooking an event listener that's saying that on click, whenever it's clicked, I want to run this row function right here. All right, so what it does basically is that it's going to simply add or toggle that class list to it. So this toggle and then add a class of active to that, like so. Now just save it and flip back to here and if I refresh that out and I click that, there we go. You can see that active class is being added to that. Now there is one more tiny thing that we have to take care of. You see this little angle right here, this has to rotate 180 degree on the top and how to do that? Let me just actually show that for you. You see that little effect right there? That looks pretty cool. So back into accordion right here, in style.css, all the way up until here, uh, let's duplicate it out. And for the eye, let's say that transform and rotate it 180 degrees, like so. Now if I just uh, refresh that out and click it, now you see it's rotated on the top side, but it is so sudden that we or we're unable to observe that, so I'm gonna add a transition of 0 0.3 seconds, ease in and out, like so. Let's just save it and flip back to here and refresh. Now you see that? This looks pretty darn good. All right, so we are done up until this point, back into script.js, and I'm gonna actually clone this too, and call this as body, and this one is accordion-contents. Okay, so back into accordion-contents. Uh, I believe now we don't have to do anything with it, but very soon but before that i just gotta grab the panel this is equal to button dot next element sibling so what is next element sibling and button dot next element sibling it means that when i click accordion 2 for instance if i flip back right here uh, where is accordion 2 right here so if i click accordion number 2 the next element sibling is this accordion body this is very easy just the next element sibling of this entire accordion item Accordion I, accordion 2 is this one right here. Okay, so I hope it makes sense. Back into script.js, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to first grab that next element sibling and then panel.classlist.toggle the class of active, like so. And if I just flip back into here, there we go. It looks pretty darn good. We did it so far. 
Okay, so there's one more thing left right here. You see that when I click accordion number three, accordion number two is still open in here. It's just exactly the same as right here, this left menu side. If you want like by clicking accordion two, accordion three and four should be closed, then here is a little bit of code that can help you to do that. Just copy this out and loop over every single one of those accordion contents. Here is the condition how it's gonna work. First, we are gonna loop over every single one of these accordion content, and then we are checking that. For example, if I click this, oh, okay, let me just refresh that out. Oh, okay, it's not working. Uh, just back into here. So the condition works this way. If I click accordion number one, I want to close all other accordion content except for the number one. How to implement that except section? Here's how you can do that. All right, so back into here. I'm gonna again copy this out and then accordion content start for each and then there is this accordion. And okay, this is in a row function all the way up until here. So we are adding a condition right here, saying that if e.target.nextElementSibling is not equal to this accordion, and also make sure that this accordion.classList.contains, if actually it, it contains the class of active, then you may want to run this little code right here. So accordion.classList.remove the class of active. That is it. Also make sure to add this E right here. And now if I just save it back to here, click accordion one, followed by accordion two, accordion one is collapsed. Click accordion T, followed by accordion four, accordion three is collapsed. Now, if you notice right here, these buttons right here, they are still active. And to get rid of that, there's a very little nice code right here that you can write, which can get rid of all this. So button, and again, button dot class list, to remove the class of active. That's it. Now, if I just flip back into here and refresh that, obviously that's already refreshed. So accordion number two followed by accordion number one. You see that accordion number two is collapsed and also the active class is gone too. Well, this looks pretty darn good. Now, as a final step, this is not gonna happen in real world scenarios, but in case if you need to do it, for example, if you click anywhere added this, this accordion, so you want all of the accordion content to collapse, then this is a nice code that you can write in order to get rid of that. So in here, I'm gonna say window.onClick, this equal to, and I'm gonna grab ES there, and oops, actually I gotta remove that. I can't type, God. So if E, dot target dot max accordion dash header all right then all the way up until here i'm gonna actually grab this line of code and remove it from there actually make sure to copy this out too duplicate it and paste it right there actually this is it and this button is going to be called as acc which stands for accordion okay now, if you click accordion two, one, and if you click outside that, it is gone. Okay, guys, so perfect. This looks pretty darn good. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more videos. Until our next tutorial, stay happy. Thank you.